What's up guys, Juggalo23451 and here it is my rig with the 5870 and then the 9800 GT for physics. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, oh your rig's real loud, well it's really not that loud. The only thing that's loud is the two side fans. They're two Kazi fans that push 110 cfm each. So that's 220 going all through in that case and I don't have a fan controller. All right. And um, basically, I'm going to show you that I do have physics. So I go here, run as admin, um, click go. And this right here is showing that I do have physics going on. Here, it's all the awesomeness right there. And then, uh, one second, hit GPUs. Uh, this is my Mark Vantage uh, score. Oh, whoops! This is a buddy of mine. We're comparing, are comparing Mark Vantage scores. But where's mine's at? There we go. This is my Mark Vantage score right here. This is stock card, but my uh, processor's at 4.2 stable. So, if you don't believe that, here it is. Uh, finished without errors 20 20 runs for Linux all right um, now on to what I want to show you guys is GPUs go ahead and run that and hit run and hopefully it doesn't take that long okay see so it has it proves that I do have the 9800 GT going on right go into the 5800 that I have and uh, it says right there let me see if I can change it to see if it's clear or not there we go Asus I guess that's how you pronounce it I didn't know that that was Asus but it's Asus but this right here it's basically proving that I did a, a BIOS mod and it came out alright I am running a Sapphire card and also, if I bring up MSI Afterburner, what that enables me to do, I can do volt mods, I can do the core clock, and I can do the memory clock and fan speed. Well, basically, the major thing that you couldn't touch was the voltage right here, but now you can. That was the main thing. Basically, you have to go into settings, and then uh, basically click unlock voltage and unlock voltage monitoring and that's it so uh, I guess that's it comment subscribe rate this video and have a good day bye